Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to be in the land of the living one more time. Mm -hmm. Father God, I'm asking, Holy Spirit, that you would direct my words. Be fire in my hands, my feet, and in my belly. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we're asking your Holy Spirit that move up and down the aisles, that yes. you would have your way in this yes, service. Lord. Do what you desire to do. Yes. Say what you desire yes, to say. Lord. In the wonderful name yes, of Jesus. Lord. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Yes, and we Lord. said amen. 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 Come on, it's a perfect day to give God glory. Lord God, as we come tonight to study the word, I'm a person that loves words. Amen. I love to study of words. I love for us to study the word of God. And surely uh, tonight, if you're taking any notes, the title of today's tonight's message is Mark. Mark. M-A-R-K-E-D. Turn and touch two people and say, Mark. 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 You're like, wait a minute. I told you mine would be very because you were it all night long. Mark. I thank the Lord God. Yeah, it is important you must understand that you are marked. I want you to know that people of God, we're living in, in troubling times. Amen. Yeah, that we're going about going up highs and lows. We're going through a lot of different things. But I want to encourage some of you because you may be wondering, Lord God, what is going on? Thank you, Lord God. What is going on in my life? I don't understand that it seems like the moment that I get us two steps forward, I got five steps coming back. Lord God, I want the Lord has sent me here to encourage you that you are just marked. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. It's not by accident that you're in the house today. Mm -hmm. The Lord God said, I come to encourage you in all that you're going through. Mm -hmm. You're just marked. Hallelujah. You, you must understand as the word of God said in 2 Timothy. Thank you, Lord God. Verse uh, 2 Timothy, chapter number 2. Put your eye on verse number 19. And when you're there, wow. say amen. <laughs> amen. Oh, 2 Timothy 2, 19. Like 2019. Yeah, the word of the Lord God says, Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having what? This seal. That the Lord knows who are his. Let everyone who has the name of Christ depart from iniquity. A pause right there. I want you to make a note and underline in your Bible or make a note by seal. Seal. S-E-A-L-E-D. Seal. I want you to understand, as you know, I, I love the, the study of words, I've said it before. I looked at the word marked. I went to Good Webster's definition, and, and I looked up the word marked. I want you to know that marked means to be sealed. Come on now. It means to be sealed. It is a word or a symbol or an object to identify it. I'm going to say that again. When you're marked, it's a word or a symbol on an object for, for, to identify. That means that if you are marked, there's something about you that represents that you are God's own. Amen? You're like, oh, wait a minute. What, I don't have a mark. On, yes, you are. If you're saved in this house, you got a mark on your hand. Thank you, Lord God. If you're saved, I understand that there are individuals who know, who know of God and those who know God. There's a big difference. We got a lot of people that say, I know God, and you don't know anything about Him. You're not in relationship with Him. You're not saved. Yes, if, I, if I'm crushing on your toes, I meant to step on them even harder because you need to be saved. Tell your neighbor, be saved. Be, be saved. saved. In the name of Jesus. I want to understand that the word is talking here about those who have a seal. Whenever you're sealed, that means you have an identification in God. That means you belong to something. If you're a part of a team and you're operating on a team, don't you want to be considered a part of that team? Talk to me, such a way. It wouldn't be called a team if you were sitting out there all by yourself because whenever you win, it's not you that win, it's the what? The team that wins. Amen. So whenever you're marked of God, everybody's included. So I want you to know God says whenever you're marked that you're on his team. Hallelujah. So if you're wondering why you're having so much hell, it's not because you're doing something wrong. It might be because you're doing something right. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, yeah, a lot of people don't like that. They're like, well, wait a minute. If you're doing wrong, you lost your job, this is not working for you, and people like some, the devil must be up to some. Ooh, you must have did something wrong. Devil is a lie. You might be doing something right. You might be just, if you accepted the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, let me just put the light on and let you know you're going to go through some trouble. 
You're going to have some trials. You're going to have some people walk away from you. You're going to have some people that don't want to be bothered with you. You're going to have people that used to be in your space all these years, and all of a sudden they don't want to have nothing to do with you. Yeah. They just want to walk away. Some of them, you, if you only knew how many people wa walked away from their marriages, ouch and amen. Come on now. Yeah. All because of the Lord. And your people are like, well, God, no, God's not really in there. That's the enemy that was in there. We have a lot of people walk away from good godly relationships, good godly friendship. You're like, well, wow, because you want to go God's way and they want to go that come on now yeah. real. come on now and you're thinking you're like well God you know I thought they were supposed to be with me let me let you know so everybody who started with you not gonna be with you with yes. Yes. Wow. all right so you need to get over that so if you're thinking well you know we used to hang out then you're not they're not calling you anymore maybe they're not supposed to be with you in your future some people can't handle where you're going thank you Lord God see you were small right here but God says I'm I'm growing you up Wow. I'm putting you into some grown up areas and you don't need childish in there because you know what that's all they're going to do is drain you oh I'm yeah. preaching right now come on now yes. people of God you need to understand that God says that you are marked whenever you belong to God that you are marked amen, amen. now let's look at it this way don't, uh, how many of you know uh, that there are markings on money is that correct yes. yes if you pull out a hundred dollar bill talk to me now isn't there a marking on that bill to identify whether it's real or fake isn't right. it right. so if we can mark money why can't we mark? Why can't we be marked? Come on now. And God says, I'm separating the wheat from the tear. The real from the fake. Come on now. There's some individuals who may look like God, but they're not marked. <laughs> they're walking around and praying in tongues. Out and amen. Come on now. You gotta watch that because not everything that prays in tongues is the Holy Ghost. Out and amen. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody who walks around and claiming that I love the Lord really loves the Lord because they got a lot of mini gods running around here. I want you to understand that people of God, you must be marked. The Lord God says, if we can take money and mark it, why can't we be marked for Christ? Why can't we wear the mark of Christ? The Bible talks about in the book of Revelation that people, there was 144 people that were marked with the seal. You understand? Stay with me, Saint you wear. The, the Bible said that there was 144 that were marked with a seal. That means that they're going to be kept during the time of tribulation. When all hell's going to break loose on earth, the Lord God said, I got them covered. But I want to encourage you. God says, I got you covered right now. Thank you, Lord God. Don't you understand? We're in some troubling times right now. There are things, there are wars and rumors of wars. There are things that are happening in our neighborhood, on our job, and our family. Things are going haywire, but God says, I still got you covered that you are marked. That means no matter how much the enemy is trying to mess with you, God says, I got you covered yes, in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, you need to be encouraged that the word of God the tells Lord. no weapon formed against me you shall prosper. Yes, and every yes, tongue Lord. that rises up against me, I shall condemn. That is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. So you can talk about me if you want to. Head committed of a height because you, you got to answer to God. Because my Bible tells me, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. So you must understand that because you walk with Christ, that you are marked. Tell your neighbor, marked. Marked. Tell your neighbor, other side, marked. Marked. People of God, you must understand that there's an indication about you that says that you're a child of God. Whenever you're marked, that you are, there's, a, there's something about you, your character, you talk differently. Come on now. When you're marked of God, you walk differently. It was like you, you talk with bold and people are like you act like you got money. I do. <laughs> you're like, oh, wait a minute, you you know, just because you don't see my money, that don't mean I'm not rich. <laughs> yeah, I'm rich in him. Thank you, Lord God. I'm here to tell you, you must understand where your value resides. My value doesn't reside in man, my value resides in God. That I'm rich and you may not even realize it. But the Lord God says, You must understand that I am marked. So that's why you're going through the hell that you're going through. Mm -hmm. That's why people are upset with you for no reason. Mm -hmm. That's why that they're just, uh, that you don't know why that they're turning their back on you. I want you to know it's because you're marked. Thank you, Lord God. You may be wondering, I come to shine the light on your situation, your problem. They're talking about you, they're going at you here and there. The Lord God said it's only because you're marked in the name of Jesus. That's the only reason why. Thank you, Lord God, because you are marked. I want to turn with me to 1 Peter. 1 Peter, thank you, Lord God. First Peter, that's still in that still New Testament. Keep walking like you're going toward Revelation. I want you to get this word down in your spirit, man. And First Peter 4, thank you, Lord God. You must understand. Thank you, Lord God. First Peter 4. Thank you, Lord. I'd love to hear the pages turning. Thank you, Lord. First Peter 4 and 12. Thank you, Lord. Keep turning. Thank you, Lord God. It's all right. That's what Wednesday night fire is about. We're going to get to the word where you can see it. Amen. Amen. First Peter 4 and 12. Look at the word of the Lord God says. Beloved, don't think it's strange mm. 
concerning fiery trials, Amen. which try you as though something strange thing is happening to you. The Lord God said, stop trying to figure out what, what's happening to you. You know what the Lord God told me? He said, you know what? I must repent right now. Yes. Yes. I, I come to repent right now because I've been crying and complaining, saying, Lord God, why is this happening to me? I mean, do I got any wrong people yes. in the house? Yeah. Why do things keep happening to me? Why is it every time that I feel like I got something going for me, then all of a sudden the rug is snatched out from me? Right. And I, you know what? I go to the Lord. You know what the Lord God said? He said, you know what? You, you, you need to, I need a whipping. He said, why? Because you're complaining. He said, you shouldn't find it strange that fiery trials shall come upon you. He said, because you're marked. Do you realize that God's not gonna, that the enemy doesn't want you to walk into your blessing? Do you realize he wants you to quit? Do you realize that he doesn't want you to have that house, that car? He doesn't want you to have that job. He doesn't want you to have all of them. Do you realize you think the enemy's going to let you just walk in that blessing like that? Oh, no, no, he's going to fight you with everything that he has. And the Lord God said that you should not be complaining. Don't find it strange that when you seem to do right, everything turns wrong. Come on now. Talk to me, sanctuary. Why is it that every time that you get ready to do something that's positive, people consider it and turn it around like it's something bad? Come on now. You know you don't want to do something, they take it personal. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Come on now. And yeah, we call it uh, we call it a fiery trial. I don't hear nobody in the house. Amen. The woman of God, it's all right to say amen. They thank you, Lord God. It's all right to say amen. It's just the overdoing it. Don't let the enemy stop your praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. It's just a magnitude. Just back away from it in the name of you know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord God, because it's a encouraging. The Lord God said that you're sealed. Whenever you're sealed, that means you're going to go through some things, but it's not going to harm you. It's like you're going through the fire like the Hebrew boys. Yeah. The Lord God said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yes, they went Lord. through the fire, but the Lord God said they, didn't, they, they, they weren't touched. I want you to understand that the Lord God says that you're going to go through a trial. Mm -hmm. Come on, people of God, you're going to go through some things. You're going to go through some things and you're thinking nobody in here really understands what you're going through. Yes, they do. Because they have their own fiery trial. Yeah. They have their own problems in their home. Yeah. Yes, problem with their money. Mm -hmm. Problem with their kids and problem with their funds. Yes, Come on yes, now. Yeah. Everything on the job, you're not by yourself. And the Lord God said, that's a trial for you. And as I'm saying it, it's a trial for you. It's a trial for me as well. But the Lord God says that it's not going to put you out. I want you to be encouraged tonight. This thing that you're going through is not going to kill you. Thank you, Lord God. You may think that this thing is hard, but the Lord God, it's not going to kill you. You need to stand up and say, bless the Lord God, because even though I'm going through this rough time, it's not going to take me out. I'm operating in a fixed fight. You already know I like to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would box, I would box up a storm. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Well, I'm not even have nothing on me. <laughs> like they say, float like a butterfly. Stand like a bee. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you why I like sports. Don't get me started. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. I have a husband who stays in the sports. But I want you to understand that when you're in a big fight, that no matter what happens, you're not going to lose. Amen. No matter what they throw at you, they throw at you with a right. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Lord God. They come at you like this. I don't know how they do it, but you can, you know, kind of dodge it. But I want you to understand, the enemy is throwing his best blow at you, woman of God. He's throwing his best punches. He got you right where he wants you, in the corner. Come on, talk to me. You ever sit there when you're in a corner? No place to go. And they're jabbing you, jabbing you, jabbing you. And the Lord God said, wait a minute, I'm going to pull out a, a right hook on him. And all of a sudden, the enemy didn't even see it coming. Come on, talk to me. Didn't see it coming because he said your back was up against the wall. They was laughing at you, making fun of you and your God. Thank you, Lord God. They said that you weren't going to get the job. They said you weren't going to get the car. They said everything was going to go bad for you. But all of us, your back was up against the wall. And oh yeah, I was punching you. But all of a sudden, the Lord God gave you that job, gave you that car, gave you that house, got that money, got that check in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that that's the Lord God right there in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord God some praise right there. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. You must understand that you're sealed, that you're, that you're marked. The Lord God said it's called your GID. You see, many people know about a GED. I love a GID. That's your God identification. Yes, yes. People are like, you know, when you go get your D GED, you go take a test, right? Mm -hmm. Well, when you get your GID, that means you're taking a test for the Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord God. Right. I got my God identity. Well, how do I get my GID? By reading His Word. 
Thank you, Lord God. About reading his word and saying, you know what? I'm reading the word of God. That I live and breathe by the word. I'm not going to go by what so-and-so say. I'm going to say what Jesus said. Thank you, Lord God. I got my GID. I want you to know that's not in my notes tonight, but you understand. You need to understand. You need to know who you are in God. Amen. You need to have your GID. Because see, some of us were living below our value because we don't know who we are in God. Thank you, Lord. You're letting men define you. You're letting women define you. You're letting friends define you. The Lord God said, you need your GID. G-I-D tonight yes, in the name no, of Jesus. No, no. That that person should not define I'm good with and I'm also good without. Yes, in the name no, of Jesus. No. You must understand that that is not who you hold on to. You hold on to the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. You must hold on to the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Somebody needs to hear that. You need your G-I-D. The Lord God said whenever you're marked that you operate with your G-I-D. You walk with your head up even though you're feeling bad. Come on now. You press your way to pray. You think everybody want to praise the Lord all the time? you got to push your way to praise. Yeah, yeah. Now, just some things. I don't know about you, but when you're hurting in your body, I know that you don't feel like lifting up your hand, but you know what? Lift them up in your hand. Thank you, Lord God. When you have so much pressure on your mind, you don't know what to do, press on your way to praise. Thank you, Lord God. You're like, Lord God, I got more bills than I got money, but thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You still give God the glory. Why? Because by that step of faith, the Lord God says, I want you to know that you're sealed. He said you're gonna, you're too good to go to go on over that you cannot go under. Thank you, Lord God. You're so good to go over, you can't go under in the name of Jesus. I want you to know, tell your neighbor, I'm marked. I'm marked. Tell your neighbor on the other side, I'm marked. I'm marked. Thank you, Lord God. Once you're marked, do you realize that you're a target? You're a target. Thank you, Lord God. You're a target. Everywhere that you go, surely enough, if you're going somewhere and you represent Christ, Oh, they're that Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The moment you come in, oh, don't curse in front of them. <laughs> well, praise the Lord, though. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Swallow it up. I would like not to have it. Uh -huh. Amen. But, but why is that a bad thing? Why is it a bad thing if you're like, I don't want to listen to that anymore? You're like, well, you used to listen to it. I don't want to listen mm -hmm. to it anymore because I'm marked. You know, I don't want nothing to stop my anointing. Thank you, Lord God. You can do what you want. But I'm here to tell you, the Lord God said the anointing destroys the yoke. And you know what? One thing that I'm realizing, people of God, we got a lot of gifted people, but where is the anointing? You see, gifted people will fill up a whole, will fill up a congregation of thousands. But anointed people, whenever they, they come in, they'll leave different when they came. That's the difference. You see, a lot of people are looking for gifts, and they follow gifts. Ooh, we're going to go over there. They got, but no, 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 no. You need the anointing. Whenever you leave a sanctuary, you need to know that your life is transformed. That everything, that things are moving on your behalf. That's an anointing to destroy the yoke. If you're feeling down, you should leave uplifted. If you need an answer, you should have some type of reply, some type of response. There's a difference between being gifted and anointed. And the Lord God says we have a lot of people that, you know what, we're hungry. And we're just looking at gifting. We're going around and we see this and we want to get. The Lord God said, I'm here to tell you, a gift will fill up a sanctuary. But an anointing will deliver those that are there. Hey. The anointing will destroy the yoke. When you're walking around with some things heavy on you, and you can't tell mom or daddy about it, you can't tell the people about it, the Lord God says the anointing will destroy the yoke. The Lord God says, you want to know what the anointing is? It'll tell you before you tell it. Yes, Lord God, you're like, I don't know what I need prayer for, and it, the Holy Spirit will tell you what you need. Yeah. That's an anointing yeah. that destroys yeah, yeah. the yoke. Hallelujah. But the Lord God says, when you are, when you are marked, that those things will automatically come to you. Yeah, yeah, in the book of Matthew, the Lord, you don't have to turn there, but it's a very familiar passage. And we quote it sometimes so much without thinking about it. In Matthew 22, 14, you don't have to turn there, but the Lord God says, many are called, but few, few are chosen. Mm -hmm. How many of you heard that many are called and few are chosen? Mm -hmm. Many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. You see, and a lot of scholars may argue with me because they feel like there's a select group of people that God calls. I beg to differ. Because to me, my God's not prejudiced. <laughs> He's not a um, respect of He called men, women, boy, girl, young, old. To me, if, if you're going to call a sect people, because see, that's what a lot of people do erroneously. They, they say that if you're born in poverty, there's just a set group of people that should be poor. The devil is alive. Yes. If you are born a slave, you should talk to me now. Yeah. But, but see, there's doctrine that people will follow that. That if you're in that category of, you know, a financial block, that you're not supposed to advance. The devil is a liar. I want you to know that the Lord God says he's no respecter of person. But I, I'm telling you that because many are called. Called individuals are everyone. Called individuals is everyone. When someone preaches to you and preaches salvation, God says, I'm calling you. 
Many are called. Mm -hmm. The scripture said many are called. The invitation come, come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord, who are you talking to? Oh, that's how we do. Mm -hmm. I know I've done it before. I sat there in church, I was like, what does this save this? It save me from what? I was very ignorant when I started going to the Lord. I didn't know. I kept saying, well, who are you trying to save me for? And no one took the time to tell me. We're talking about hell, you know, the devil. So I, I grew up basic. I grew up that, Lord, I didn't know what being saved from what? I should, they should have told me saved from myself because I was going straight to hell. I was about to bust oh hell wide open mm. and, and, and yeah. thinking I'm living right. Talk to anybody, yeah. Yeah. anybody yeah. living yeah. like that in here? Yeah. Well, they're lying to you and telling you that's all you got to do is do this and do that. Yeah. And it's all. All right now, out and amen. Come on now. But when I came to the knowledge, the Lord God said, I saved you. That means I, I, that many are called. That's what called means. So some of you are thinking you got to be special to be called. That's not true. God says, I call you. Everybody that's in here has been called. The ideal is that will you answer? That's the chosen ones. Those that answer the call. God still called. This is what the Lord's doing. Be saved today. Be like I have tomorrow. I don't, look, I'm better yet, here's a word, I'm young. I don't want to give up my lifestyle. <laughs> I'm young, oh, yeah, 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 okay. I want you to know you may not be promised tomorrow. You might, why can't you be saved and still have a wonderful life? You can be better with God than without Him. Come on now, you know what, it's called yeah. repentance. You know, if you fall, do you realize when you're with Christ, even if you stumble, you fall into His hands? I'd rather be able to fall in His hands than fall. Mm. You see, most people say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. I've heard this till I'm blue in the face and I'm sick of it, and it's hard for me to get blue in the face. For them to say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. After I get all my, well, after I do all what I want to do, then I'm going to come to Christ. Do you realize they got some old people saying that? Talk to me now. They still got some, they like, oh, I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. Know what you're waiting on? Yeah. You know what you're waiting on? Yeah. You're not promised tomorrow. We just lost a brother in the Lord, very, very young, just like that. Mm -hmm. and a, but tomorrow didn't come for him. And I'm saying that because wow. don't base upon your spiritual life upon what I'm waiting for. God says, I'm calling you today. You're like, well, why? He said, I'm calling you today. This is your wake up call. You can leave here today and something can happen. Do you know where you're going? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea? Like, well, no, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that preaching before. All right. Play with the Lord if you want to. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to play with it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to tat You're not on the ninny up in here. I'm going to lay it flat and give it to me. You need to be saved and set free and delivered in the name of Jesus. Because you can't get to heaven on your mama's wings. And you can't get there on grandma and mama and mima. And yeah. You can't get there on their wing. You got to have a prayer life for yourself. You got to be able to pray and say, Lord God, it is I, Father. Lord God, I want to get myself right. As much as your mama and daddy can pray for you, I want you to know, you got to start praying for yourself. You got to say, Lord God, it is I, Lord. Lord, I need help right here. Because in case you didn't realize, the Lord God says many are called, but few are chosen. That means those who say yes to the Lord. God says, I want you to be a part of the chosen people tonight. I want you to be the one that said, Lord God, it is I. Lord, Lord God, take me in. I want you to be my personal Lord and Savior. I want to be called the chosen. People of God, as I come to you tonight, that the Lord God says, I want to seal you. I want to cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. Yes, but you've got to answer the call. Amen. You've got to answer the call. You know what? As much as I love you, you know, I, can, I can't force you, but the only thing I can do is encourage you. Mm -hmm. The Lord God says, I called you, but will you be chosen? Will you answer the call? Will you answer the call? Will you come to Jesus? Will you say, I want him as my personal Lord and Savior? I'm telling you right now, everything is not going to be the best, but it will be better off than what you are right now. Come on now. You'll, you'll find that being with the Lord is so much better than being without him. I'm, not, I'm telling you this from experience. The Lord God says, I'm calling out for souls because we're not promised tomorrow. He's crying out tonight that you must be called. And the Lord God says, you've got to be chosen. Stop looking at somebody and say, well, I'm not smart enough. God says, I'm not looking for letters and accolades. I'm not looking at your trophies of men. He said, I'm calling you. I call you chosen are those who get up and say, you know what? I'm coming to Jesus. Amen. Just like I am. I don't have the right clothes, but I'm coming. I don't have the right language, but I'm coming. The Lord God says, you don't wait to clean yourself up. You come and I clean you. We got too many people trying to clean up. Oh, yeah. Lord God, I drink too much. I curse too much. You'll never make it. Uh, it's quiet in the house. It's quiet in the You're like, well, what's cursing? Oh, oh, Pastor, say cursing. You know, negative words are curse words. Every time you got somebody, ooh, I don't know if you should do that. You know what? Stop cursing me. Get away from me. You know, I'm tired of people telling me what I cannot do. Mm -hmm. All right. The first
first said, oh, you want to do that? Oh, I wouldn't do that. You yeah. know what? I'm asking for God. Did. Before yeah. you answer me, let me give you a little nugget. That's not yeah, in my yeah, notes. Yeah. But yeah. if somebody's going to give you some godly advice, check how their demeanor is. Mm -hmm. If they respond to you quickly and didn't go pray, you better not take that advice. Mm -hmm. Because that came from flesh. That had nothing to do with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because somebody, you're asking, what do you think I should do? You know what they should tell you? Well, let me pray about it. I'm going to get back with you. That's how you know that's godly God. If they, well, if it was me, that, mm -hmm. uh, right there, your, your antenna should go up. Don't receive, don't mm -hmm. receive. Flesh, 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 flesh. Mm -hmm. You know, no commercial will go free, free, free. Mm -hmm. Flesh, 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 flesh. <laughs> Anytime somebody that begins to comment on you and try to tell you something about how you should live your life, what you should do, and they never bend the knee. What, what about your prayer life? Who's praying around here? Thank your Lord God. You're not praying, but you're just saying. Which is what I would do. This is what I like to do. That's the problem now. You like to do it and you're not letting God do it. Mm. Ouch and amen. Wow. It's tight but it's wow. right. Yep. You can't say amen, wow. say ouch, but somebody say amen. something in the house. Wow. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord God. You must understand, people of God, that the Lord God is trying to tell you that you are marked. That there's a label on your forehead <coughs> that tells you that you're God's property. There's something that's on your forehead. You're like, I don't have nothing. You know, if you don't have a mark, then you should start checking for it. If people will see you coming and they, st they still continue to curse and talk ugly to around you, you need to check for your marking. <laughs> because whenever you go into a room, they should look at it, you know, they start fidgeting good. And you know, back in the day, I used to find that, Lord God, what's wrong with me? How many of you done that? Mm -hmm. You're like, Lord, what's wrong with me? I don't know about you, but I dealt with, I dealt with uh, rejection mm -hmm. issues. When you're delivered, yes. you can talk about mm -hmm. it. I dealt with rejection issues. People not wanting to be around me. But you know, when I got my GID, hey. I, I could care a little ass in the name of Jesus. And surely now, now when I walk in, I can clear a table in a minute. Amen. Amen. I'm here to tell you, I have a living witness. I went to a wedding, I cleared the whole table. Everybody was, hey, hey, hey. The moment I sat down, everybody, I said, my God. And I just had a spray. Can you imagine? <laughs> I had a spray. Spray. You know that verse of the spray? And I didn't even say a word. I didn't even. I sat down with the guy. And it's been a while, but I can testify for it because I felt like, Lord, what was wrong? I checked my, you know, make sure you, you know, you're fresh because you're like, my God. There was, I mean, a table full. You know, a big long table. Talk to me. Don't look like I'm straight. You know, when you go to a wedding or something, they have them long table and everything you're sitting there and you're one person and all be like, I'm like, Lord. So then I get up and I move, you know. <laughs> I was socialized. I get up, everybody down. I said, my God. I went in the bathroom. I started to pray. I said, Lord, what's going on? I don't understand. But see, I was still young in the Lord. I didn't understand. And the Lord God said, they can't stand your light. Mm. See, that's wow. the problem. All of a sudden, I start getting nauseated. You know what my husband said? Baby, let's leave. I was like, what is the Lord God? In the name of my babies was small mm -hmm. and I'm here to tell you look I was able to go home and play with my kids and not even have to worry about it. I said thank you Lord God the Lord God said it had nothing to do with you being wrong it's because you're being right mm -hmm. so I'm here to tell you when people decide that they don't want to fellowship with you stop worrying about you know your status you may not have many likes but the only like that you need is a holy ghost yeah. thank you Lord God yeah. see some of you too busy worried about who's on your gram and yeah. instant who are liking and don't like you know what don't like me matter of fact unfriend me Amen. Yes, wow. <laughs> Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord. You're like, wait a minute, but you're talking rough. Unfriend me. Unfriend me. Ah, ah. I'm right there. Unfriend me. Why? Because I'd rather be a friend of God than a friend of the world in the name of Jesus. He said that, that to be friendship with the world is enmity with God. You're like, you're not going to get in. No, no, no. I beg to differ. The Lord God says, when 10 leave, 20 going to come. Yes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So you must understand I'm not worried about the likes. I'm here to tell you we're too self-oriented. I'm closing tonight. Yes, Lord. But the Lord God said you are sealed. When you're sealed, you're not too concerned about what people have to say about Amen. you. When you're sealed, that you know that God's going to take care of you, even when things are looking bad. Yes. You know that God's going to make a way out of no way. Yes. Even when things are look the roughest, that you know what? You lift up your hands and I say, thank you, Lord God. You know that if you praise your way through, God will bless you. You know that, you know what? Little becomes much in the hand of the Lord. You said, I only got a little bit, but I'm going to give you what I got. Lord God. Yes, and the Lord God will increase you abundantly because he can bless you like that. I want you to know tonight that if you are operating under seal, then you need to just lift up your hands.
hands and say thank you Lord God because I'm sealed I'm sealed in the name of Jesus I'm sealed I'm covered by the blood of Jesus that nothing can penetrate nothing can stop me nothing can block me because I'm sealed in the name of Jesus I want to encourage you as I close tonight that God says brothers and sisters that you need to continue to pray and pray again because you are sealed I want you to know that the devil can't stop you from what God has for you why because you're sealed even though you're going through hell right now the Lord God said you're sealed I I'm telling you I can just climb these chairs right now I'm about to eat up that back row yes Lord God you're sealed in the name of because you're sealed you're sealed you're sealed in the name of the Lord God said no weapon formed against you shall prosper oh you're looking around the Lord God said I'm talking right to you right to you sealed you can't be stopped you can't be blocked they were giving they were counting you out you weren't going to make it the Lord God said, you're going to make it. Oh, yes, Lord. You're going to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they said that you weren't going to get that advanced, but you